In this Attraction Tips video, I'm going to be discussing the correct power dynamic for a loving, passionate, and successful relationship, and how the power flips and men lose the power. Hey guys, I'm Eric Peterson, and I'm a men's dating and relationship coach for Skill of Attraction. And today's Attraction Tips video is called How Men Lose the Power in Relationships. Now, probably the biggest reason why women lose interest in a man is because the power dynamic flips, putting her into the power role. Now, you may think keeping the power is some petty goal in a relationship, but the truth is, for a good portion of a long-term relationship or marriage, it's all a power struggle. All those little games, manipulations, temper tantrums, and whatnot are really both of you gunning for the power. Now, I'm sure it doesn't seem that way on the surface because in most cases you're not consciously thinking, hey, I need to keep the power here. But if you really think about it, I'm fairly certain you would agree with me, you're both struggling for the power in the relationship. Now, when you begin dating, and it's been going well for a few months, it's typically the man who is holding the power at that point. Strangely, this is part of the reason that the relationship is going so well, because you're holding the power, or at least a majority of the power. Women like it this way because it's one of the things that makes you so attractive to her. She loves that you're more or less calling the shots, that you're leading her, and that you're both operating within your frame. Now, if you're doing things right, she's almost always available to see you. When she does, she showers you with affection and compliments. She's all smiles. She can't keep her hands off of you, and she can't get enough sex with you. This is partly why it's so easy for you to continue holding the power. Now, of course, it's also because the relationship is new and exciting, but the other part is because you're leading her in the direction she exactly wants to go with you without any attachments to a particular outcome. The fact that she's willingly following along with whatever you want is because she trusts your leadership. You've maintained your power and she likes it. And as a result, you're super attractive to her at this point. But at some point, you begin to notice things changing. It's not much at first, usually a few tests here and there. Maybe she pulls away a bit or gets upset with you for some minor infraction. And this is all completely normal stuff. However, it depends on how you handle these tests or situations that will determine whether or not the power shifts into her favor or you retain that power. What most people don't understand is that there's a correct power dynamic in a healthy, loving relationship. Most people will say, well, it should be 50-50. And logically, that sounds right. I mean, who wouldn't want a 50-50 effort when it comes to a relationship between two people, right? It sounds absolutely fair. However, it's not what it seems. When it's more than one person, I mean, you always need a leader in order to be a functioning team. Plus, you also have to take into account how female attraction works. Women must see you as having a higher sexual market value than what she believes her own market value is. But if you guys need my personal help and you're interested in some private coaching, please head over to my website at soa.fm and click on the coaching tab and there you'll see that I have several options for you to choose from. My coaching options include several phone coaching packages for my North American clients and several Zoom coaching packages for my clients outside North America. And I'll post the links to both my contact page and my coaching page in the description down below. Also, have you guys come on over to the new Skill of Attraction website? It's essentially an online men's social community where you could further your education on women, dating, relationships, attraction, and overall self-improvement and masculine excellence. Of course, you ladies are welcome there too, but just understand what it is. I mean, you could ask questions, give and get advice, share your knowledge, and gain more knowledge. It's really just in its beginning stages, but it's completely free to use, and you can remain relatively anonymous. So just head on over to soa.fm to get started.
That's SOA for skill of attraction and FM because it's fucking magic. So I hope to see you guys there. Now, it's important to understand that women want you to be the one to hold the power on the relationship, though they'll never admit to that. In fact, they may not even realize this consciously, but if you think about it, when you hold the power, you're both happy and in love, but when she holds the power, you're both miserable and oftentimes fighting. In fact, almost never will a woman end a relationship when you're the one holding the power, just as long as you're not taking advantage of having that power. And by taking advantage, I just mean that you would be you know, taking her for granted, maybe getting a little complacent and cocky about where you stand, things of that nature. But if you keep holding up your end, carrying your weight, doing your part, and retaining that power, women aren't going to leave you. And they certainly aren't going to cheat on you, except maybe if she has some mental or emotional issues of her own, such as you know BPD, she has no integrity, she's supremely insecure, or maybe even if she's a narcissist or something similar to those things. My point being, women are most attracted to you when you're holding the power and the frame in the relationship. And they're certainly not going to risk losing such an attractive man such as yourself. Attractive men who know how to keep the power are way too rare, and women know this on some level, and they're certainly not going to risk losing those men. Now, there's a caveat to this. She will do everything in her power to take your power away. Why? Because women also know that any worthy man will not allow her to take the power. And by worthy, I simply mean confident, high-value men who understand women. Men who get it. The thing is, she doesn't know if you're that man or if you're just faking it or if all of her pumping up your ego and validating you is the only reason you can confidently hold that power. Women need to make sure because if she were to get, you know, say pregnant by you, she has a much bigger investment than you. So what do they do? They test the hell out of you. If you can successfully pass the majority of these tests, her attraction stays on the high side and she continues to submit to your lead and authority. And you know what? A lot of people get their panties in the twist when I say things like submit or authority with images of an abusive controlling man who demands that she do everything that she says. Now that is not at all what I mean. It simply means that you're more or less calling the shots and making the vast majority of the de decisions in the relationship, essentially leading her and the relationship. Now, of course, if she doesn't agree or doesn't want to participate, she doesn't have to. You're not forcing her. So get those ridiculous ideas out of your head. Now, these tests entail many of the common ones, and many of these tests are done subconsciously. But she's going to try and rattle you, maybe even try to make you feel insecure, just to see if you'll cave and just hand over the power to her. Now, a few years ago, I did a video called How the Power Flips. It was actually a coaching video where I read a viewer's email. And he could tell that he was losing the power and he didn't know how to turn it around. In the email, he talked about how initially this girl was really into him, and I don't think they were serious yet, but at some point, she told him her ex popped back up into the picture, and now she wasn't sure what to do, him or her ex. Now, of course, this sent him into a tailspin of insecurity, afraid that he would lose her to her ex at any moment. And because of that, he was basically just you know, putty in her hands. Now, I don't think that she did this intentionally, meaning her ex really did come back and she realized that she really did still have feelings for him, as well as feelings for her current boyfriend. But after my client got insecure, he began to lose the power and she started spending more and more time with her ex, which caused my client to get even more insecure. However, despite it being real, it was still wrapped in a test. She didn't have to tell him that the ex was calling her again, but she did to see if he would react, albeit she wasn't testing him consciously. Now, several months ago, I also did a video called How to Pass Her Jealousy Test. 
Well, this sort of test is more intentional. This is another way that women will see if you could hold on to the power. This is why you guys can't get all bitter and upset about these things because they won't change simply because you don't like them. This is how women filter out the betas. And if you really think about it, how else would a woman be able to tell if your confidence is real or if you're just kind of faking it? I mean, they have to put you through real life tests by you know, trying to steal the power. And they wanna steal that power away from you and see if you lose your confidence. Women want a man who won't get rattled by these situations. Now, this doesn't mean that you let her just walk all over you or anything, but you have to show her that you're going to keep the power regardless of what's happening. And let me warn you, women are very good at these tests. They're very good at manipulating you and pushing your buttons. They have a lot of experience with it because almost every man panics and gives up the power in these situations. And once that happens, her attraction for you just begins to plummet. Perhaps not right away, but every time you react to these tests, it's just another nail into the coffin. Men lose the power when they get insecure and begin fearing that they'll lose her. And once she begins to realize that the power is tilting in her favor, she just kicks it into high gear and really lays the tests on thick, losing respect for you with every test that you fail. And by this time, it almost becomes a game to her. Now, there's no way that you could pass 100% of her tests unless you have absolutely rock solid confidence. And even then, it's difficult to pass all of them. But you can learn the art of passing women's tests by not letting her rattle you and making you insecure. Remember, always see yourself as the prize. And when you notice these tests, just playfully brush them off. As an example, say, if she tells you that her ex is calling again, instead of getting nervous and scared and demanding that she not respond to him, playfully brush it off. Oh yeah, do you want me to set up a date for you guys so you can get to know each other again? And when she giggles and says, no, of course not, then just kiss her like you own her, then just lean back like you don't have a care in the world and get on another topic. Test passed, power maintained. Now, it's easier said than done, but this is why you all should be building up real confidence by building up your value as a man. And this way, a lot of this stuff will come naturally to you. And if you need help with all this or really anything in your love life, be sure to book an appointment with me and we'll do our best to get it taken care of. So if you found this video helpful or any of my videos helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and for you to share it with any of your friends and family. And I would also really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button down below and tick that little bell symbol next to it so you get real-time notifications of when I upload new videos. And in the description down below, not only will I have a link to both my contact page and my coaching page, but I also have a link to PayPal or my Bitcoin wallet address if you deem this video worthy of a donation. And you also have super thanks as an option, which is located right next to the share icon below this video. So that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.